This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, number 110. So here we're asked to write each of the following integral expressions as a single integral. All right, so for part A, we have the integral from 2 to 9 of f of x squared dx minus the integral from 2 to 9 from g of g of x squared dx, All right? Since these are the same boundaries, we can go ahead and combine whatever is in them, right? So we can go ahead and say this is f of x squared, and this is minus, so minus g of x squared, put a parenthesis around all that, dx, okay? Since the boundaries are the same, we can combine them, and it's a single integral. All right, let's go ahead to part b. Part b, here we do not have um, the same boundaries, so it won't be the, the same as part a but we have the same function, right? Both of these are f of x. Furthermore, we have the stop boundary equaling the start of another integral expression. So since we have that case, these are the same here, right? Same function and start and stop, we can go ahead and connect these and remove that middle area, right? Because this one is, so here is 3, 5, and 9, right? Here's our curve f of x. 3 to 5 is just under the area, I mean, the, the area under the curve from 3 to 5. 5 to 9 is from 5 to 9. So combining it is just going to be from 3 to 9. Same function, dx. All right, let's go on to part c. Part c. Here, again, yes, we have the same function, right? And our boundary starts, well, hmm. Our boundary stops at um, 1 and starts at 4, starts at 4. Okay, so this one we can't do exactly like the one before. But we can rewrite this one so the boundary does start that way if we switch this, right? If we swap these boundaries, we're going to make this negative. Right, so the, it's already negative, so changing that to a negative makes it positive. Right? So now we have the start and stop here the same, start and stop here the same. So then we can go ahead and combine this to go from negative 2 all the way to 9. That's a negative 2 of our function. Okay, so this is the key step to swap the start and stop boundary on this integral. Finally, part D. Part D, well, we have the same boundaries here, different functions, um, but we have a 2 in front. So the thing we're going to have to realize is this 2 can go here, right? We're multiplying by the integral, but this constant 2 can go inside. So we can rewrite this first integral as the integral from 2 to 8 of 2 times k of x dx plus the integral from 2 to 8 j of x dx. Now since we have the same boundaries on the integral, we can just go ahead and add the, the functions, right? So it's 2kx plus j of x, put parentheses around that, dx. All right, so that's going to end for us CPM Calculus Chapter 4, number 110.